Eamon O'Carroll back in the UK after a tough physical encounter with Toulouse. On reflection of the weekend and the result, what are your thoughts? Yeah, obviously I'm happy and really proud of the group. I think, you know, we went went through a little bit there and the, I seem to use that word every week, adversity, but we lost a couple with head knocks and obviously two Simbins as well. So there's a lot of disruption um, during the match. But the boys just kept turning up for each other. Um, some of the efforts to to keep just turning up and keep the legs moving under real difficult circumstances, especially in the second half when we had no field position. Um, hats off to the group. I'm really proud of them. You've used that A word, adversity, again. Obviously, you lost a number of players during that game to either the Simbin or injury. That obviously puts pressure on the side. So is that the real positive, uh, that pride that everybody stepped up? Yeah, and look, we, we mentioned it a fair bit, but every team goes through it. Um, you know, and the, like I said, whoever moved out of position just did their job and, and worked extremely hard. So, you know, I thought we managed the two 10 minute periods really well. But on the flip side, we did concede all our points during them periods. So it's a, it's a big lesson for us. You mentioned after the game, lessons to be learned with the two Simbins and the 12 points conceded. Is that something you've highlighted and put a bit of focus on this week? Well, we have. What The, the first Simbin to George, we have to accept, you know, we've, we feel that's fair. Um, the one to Arebi, I'm still scratching my head at, to be fair. But, you know, that that's happened now when we move on. it's uh, It was disappointing. Um, especially, like I said, we, you know, we, we concede our points in that and we end up drawing the game. So... But again, good lessons. We have to be squeaky clean and we're a group that will always look at ourselves rather than other people or excuses. And that's what we've done this week. 12, 12, 10 minutes ago, it could have gone either way. Psychologically, coming back with a point, what does that do for the squad? Because there's only Swinton who've gone there so far this season and, and come away with a, a result. Yeah, I think it's more the, the circumstance of coming back with, with the one point, um, with all the things that we've, we've referenced. So for us, that feels like a, a moral victory. But... We also understand that we, we maybe could have done some things a little bit better and managed certain periods during that game better um, to give ourselves an opportunity of winning the game. But look, me the the fact that I'm I'm so pleased and proud of the group, you know, um, overshadows that it's it's a bit of disappointment. But um, good lessons for us moving forward to come away with a with a point, which is uh, you know, yeah, it's good for us in, under the circumstances. After the game, you agreed there could be a bit of a fallout. Obviously, there was players who left the field, we'll start with those. And how are those? Uh, Jaden Ockenbar, Jordan Bowen, Sidori Bidoro and Zach Fulton. Yeah, um, so we'll start with Ock. We, he'll he'll train tonight. We'll see how he goes, uh, but we won't risk him. Just had a bit of an issue with his army, but it was more neural than anything. So the, the, the travel could have been a factor in that. Uh, Logan, Bayliss and... It was the other head knock. Max Lehman, um, both passed their test and they're, they're fine. They're good to go, which is which is positive for us. And yeah, Reby got had a little bit of an issue there, but we've we've had some X-rays and had that cleared, so he's um, he's looking good. And more importantly, feeling feeling good as well. On John and Zach Fulton. Uh, Zach, yeah, didn't didn't do too much training on um, on Wednesday. We was going to give him the night off, but he was desperate to train, so that's a positive sign. Hopefully, he'll come through okay. Uh, and John Baldwin has just got a little bit of uh, swelling around his knee joint from, again, I think, you know, he's come back from a, a serious injury, played some big minutes for us in, in some really, you know, intense games. On top of the travel, you know, it's probably just had a little bit of a reaction, so we'll manage that and see how he goes. Is it fair to say, I and mean, obviously we're doing this on Friday afternoon, there's still a training session later on this evening, you're going to give them pretty much right up to the start of the weekend um, to hopefully, you know, clear any... Not to yeah, absolutely. I think you know that those players in particular deserve the opportunity to, to take it right up until the eleventh hour. So that's what we'll do. Like I said on Wednesday, we had a very light training session. You know, the the focus for us this week has been recharging the group, playing two full time teams in the space of two weeks with the travel on as well. So it's important us as staff play our part and make sure that we we fill the tanks back up. So um, we've done that, but in doing that, it doesn't give you the opportunity to have a good look at them. So um, we'll we'll see how we go tonight. Is that the challenge then for this weekend, you know, to, to try and replicate that, that energy and effort, albeit, you know, you'll be probably looking over your shoulder realising there was a hell of a lot of effort on Saturday night against Toulouse? Yeah, I think that's the case with every single game, um, especially in the Championship. They're all really competitive and anyone can beat anyone on the day. So that, that's something that we've referenced this week and we want to make sure that we, first of all, look after the group well enough so that they can put their effort in as they did at weekend. The RFL disciplinary have handed out bans to George Tafua 
and Evans, uh, George has got three games, Evans got two games. How does that impact the side over the, the next two or three weeks? Yeah, it does. It hurts us, two, two key individuals. So there's, there's no doubt about that. But, um, you know, that's the, the nature of the beast. Um, slightly disappointed in the one of uh, Evan. Um, so we'll have a good look at that. I'm just waiting for some clarity back from the RFL on that one. Is it fair to say you, you could be putting a, a challenge and appealing on that one? Uh, potentially. I just I just want some advice first. What I don't want to do is put Evan in a position that means he could get an extra game, but we understand it. Um, but I'm just, I just think it's a, a little bit too severe. An injury update on Lee Gaskell, Michael Lawrence, Chester Butler, Dan Smith. How, how close or far away are those from, from returning? Yeah, they're still a, a, a fair few weeks off yet. Obviously, Lee Gaskell, I think you said, was potentially just around the corner. Has yeah. he had a setback? Or... I wouldn't say it's a setback, just probably not recovered as quickly as we, we first envisaged. So um, look, we're, we're hopeful we'll get him back in the next couple of weeks. But again, a couple of weeks ago, I was hopeful we'll have, we'd have him back for this game or next week. And that doesn't seem to be the case at the minute. But he's working hard to get back on the field um, with the staff. But obviously, with the the history of him with the with that same injury, we want to make sure that we're getting back in his back for good. The fact that Tyrone and Jordan Miller look to be forming, you know, very competent uh, half back partnership that must obviously be pleasing then in tough uh, adverse circumstances. Yeah, yeah, it is. Tyrone's doing a great job for us, and, and you know, I think Jordy's getting better and better each game, which is great for him. Um, I feel for Jordy because he's not had a settled half back <laughs> for, for the whole season, really. I think Gasky's played two games for us and came off, um, sorry, three games and came off in two of them. So. Um, but he's doing a great job for us as his tyrant, just keeps it nice and simple, he's real intelligent. Um, but we also understand where we're at and that we miss uh, Gasky. Benton Rogers has been recalled by Huddersfield. He's going to play against Lee on Saturday. Obviously great news for Fenton, not so much for Bradford. No, it's a, you know, we, we lose another player, but we understand that's the scenario when you bring in loans. And I'm really happy when, when lads come and, and play well for us and then go and get an opportunity to play Super League. We understand that that's the, the scenario when we take them. Um, I'd probably prefer it to be that way than them being here and, and not going progressing in their careers. So he's a young front rower and you know, for him to come and play in the championship is giving him a good opportunity to go and play Super League now. So the door's open for him if there's an opportunity for him to come back. But there's a bit of me that hopes that we, we don't see him again because he's playing week in, week out for Huddersfield. Franklin Pell is suspended this week. Nathan Mason was in the 20-man squad last week. Does he potentially make his second Bradford Bulls debut this weekend? Well, we're not sure. He, he, he may have to, uh, but that wasn't the plan. You know, Nathan, to his own admission, understands that he's been playing over in Australia, but probably not at the level that he's going to be playing now. So he's got a little bit of work to do. And I've been really impressed with how diligent he's been in some of the work that he's doing. He's always asking for ex extras. And, um, you know, we, ideally, we probably wouldn't to give him the best opportunity to be feeling like he's back at his best. But he's a, he's a big boy, but he's a fit boy as well. So um, look, we'll have a look at the squad tonight, depending on some of those that we mentioned earlier. If they're all good to go, it's likely a walk feature. But if anyone's missing, he's probably next in line. It feels like it might be a, a needs must situation. Have you thought about looking in the loan market for this this week, or is it because of the trip to France too short notice? No, I, d I just think we we've, we are lacking in numbers, but we've probably just about got cover. Um, and I want to use our own players if we can. If there's an opportunity, to, we brought people in when we've been absolutely desperate and, and had no bodies in. So. Um, look, we're, we're always looking for, for recruits, whether that be short term, certainly long term as well. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go with what we've got. Wakefield arrived at Batter Carroll, so unbeaten 14 from 14. Uh, an exciting challenge, you it? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's an element of excitement because we're playing top of the league and you know we've had a, tough, uh, a couple of tough games against them. I thought we, we certainly put our hand up in the semi-final. Um, we learned a few lessons from that as well, but took a lot of confidence out of it as well. So, uh, look, we want to be in big games and this will be one. As a head coach, obviously you want to be coming up against a very big, tough, physical Wakefield side that have a, a, a star-studded side full of NRL and Super League players. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's why we play the game. That's why we coach. We want to be involved in big games and, you know, it's exciting and we're back home as well. So, uh, you know, after having a, a trip away over in France, it would be nice to be playing at Park Hard Hudson. You go into this game, Eamon, unbeaten in five with the four wins and the draw. What effect does that have on the, the confidence and energy, both behind the scenes and on the field? I think, uh, you know, off the field, obviously, it gives everyone confidence. I think we'd still be in the same spot 
now mentally if we'd uh, lost the game at Toulouse because we know that we're building and we're building slowly and you know internally we can see that we're getting better and we're making positive strides although we're not where we want to be um we we understand the reasons for that as well so you know the the group the energy around the group is really good at the minute um you know I love seeing them work together I love seeing them be be connected around training there's a good feeling camp um you know and I want to facilitate that and drive that as well you've referenced the 1895 cup semi-final earlier on in the year um, certainly from a Bradford Bulls performance wide that first half was one of the strongest of, of the season has that memory been brought up this week and does that help you visualise a potential path to success on Sunday? Yeah we've had a good look at it you know I thought particularly the first hour of that game we were really strong I think it's just highlighted that it's going to have to be an 80 minute performance which is a great challenge for us because we've not quite nailed that this year um, and when you're playing the best teams you have to be on it for 80 minutes so um, some good lessons there but also some, some confidence to be taken out of that as well uh, I think we, we've we also highlighted you know some of the try concedes that we conceded against them last time we, we could have been a lot better um, so yeah we, we go out of it you know looking at that game with some confidence but also knowing we're going to have to be very good just one league defeat at that card on Sunday in 2024. How much of an advantage is that to you and your side when hosting Wakefield on Sunday? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think the, the bigger picture is just our, our current form at the minute. You know, I wasn't even aware of that, to, to be honest with you, because I don't look too too far back. I'm more looking at in the moment and, and how we're feeling and the, you know, the energy around the group. And like I said, everyone's feeling good at the minute. Um, you know, there's happy happy faces. But again, everyone's really eager to, to get better and work on some things as well. So I think we're in a good spot at the minute. Um, and that won't be determined by just a one-off result. Like I said, you know, we're... We came out happy but disappointed at Toulouse and I see the same energy and attitude from the group and that will be the case this week.